Hi, Tomor here, and today I would like to talk about schizophrenia and the splitting of mind that occurs with the schizophrenic. Now, to my understanding, what I've studied and learned and can see as sound, uh, evident as sound, as physicality, as reason, with my case of my schizophrenia, I can say that schizophrenia is something that I'm born with. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist or a physician. I'm an ordinary guy with schizophrenia, working my way through my schizophrenia into responsibility, into life, into sort of honesty, decent, common sense, best for all living. So, schizophrenia is from the moment of, of uh, conceiving in my mother's womb, the creation of me basically, uh, there is programs, programs from DNA, RNA, beingness programming, quantum uh, programming and beyond. Uh, the, what shall I say, general awareness of creation of, of you might say, re things like reincarnation, things like gods, you might say, and these beliefs that we have carried as humanity for so long. Everything from, you might say, the e Egyptian pyramids or the bi biblical god figure, the dragon, uh, the Anuaki. The, the rulers of existence, and so on, and so on, and so on. And, you know, part of the reason why humanity uh, have been more or less stuck in suffering, in lesser than, in abuse, in war systems, and so on, because of our, because we have uh, deluded ourselves into mind, into egoism, into greed, into thought conspiracies, and so on. So basically, my schizophrenia is a form of autism, because as I have calculated, as I have reckoned myself to know and study with help from, uh, for instance, ecraft.com and destiny.org, I learn that my schizophrenia is a form of autism because the definition of autism is that you're born with some mental handicap, right? As Asperger's and uh, Tourette syndrome and uh, Down syndrome and so on, because you're born with it and therefore it's a category of autism and schizophrenia it's also a form of autism because I'm born with it. It isn't developed as it is as I'm born with it. It comes from the creation of me in my mother's belly. And the reason for that is beyond the ordinary ability to understand and reason with things as life. As where does life come from? And beyond those, what shall I say, brainwashing uh, schoolers and so on, that just just eventually points at the Bible, for instance, and religion for for cause, which is also a, a tool of instrument to to learn to know why we're here and, and this process that we're walking but there but you know to there is no there has not been for eons of time for a long time no clear explanation to why do we suffer so much on earth why is there so much sickness so much pain so much war so much abuse and again it is back to the individual back to one's back to work through one's mind to understand and equalize self as within the mind-being-body relationship. 
mind-being-body relationship. That is where the pivotal point is. So, back to my, my, my starting point here about the splitting of mind. As the splitting into multiple mind units is how I'm programmed. It's rigged within the programming of me. How I uh, am, am programmed into projecting these multiple mind units, boxes, whatever you call them. Geometrical shapes, uh, geometrical forms and shapes of mind systems that I would project out of myself and live these personalities and existential beings within these different mind units as me, as also separation, as a theater, as not real, it's just illusion, it's all just mind, right? So for the schizophrenic person to shift from relating, from, from relating to this and that conversation or somewhere or a conversation or, or dialogue or school or work or just talking to somebody, one can shift from one mind unit, personality database, and so on, to another mind unit another five type of personality and behavioral instructions in the flick of a second. They can shift, bang, 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 shift from personality, shift from mind unit, shift from programming total, like that. Woo! And it's just like, it is very, very disturbing to experience those shifts, those splits of mind, That's that fragmenting of self. Because you get so confused and so scared, beyond scared, of what's happening to you. You have no control. It feels like you're just totally lost and scared. And you, all you want to do is just doze away, really. Because you're just so scared from what is mind and yourself and how, and how you're programmed. How mind and self is programmed into splitting into new mind units. It is just pure horror. You lose sense of, you lose your grounding, you lose your stability, you lose your awareness. Everything is just like, boom, lost sort of, fragmented. The reality is totally, total delusion, it's just, a, just delusion, just lost sort of. Because of how... The schizophrenic is programmed to split and separate self into multiple mind units. That is how, that is, the, so that is some of the basics of that illness. Some of the basics of the schizophrenic illness. So, how it's programmed to just project itself into a new unit is a particular dimension of the schizophrenic illness. And if you can if you can understand some of that and understand how confusing it is for the schizophrenic to experience a shift whoop, of personality, of personality database, of standing, of stability, of groundedness, of stability, of anything sane, just shifts and you like Another total, another person, sort of. It just shifts like a lightning, and you're a total new person. That is a very confusing and disturbing way to live. So, to work through this, there are, there are tools to work through this. There are, like self-forgiveness, like we offer at destiny.org. Destiny I process and so on. There are processes to be walked as self, to heal self, to work and self, to investigate self, to learn self, to know, to understand and change, to forgive, understand and change. To forgive, understand and change from the energy addiction, from the energy polarity, friction addiction within mind. 
to become stable, to become sane, grounded, sanity, you know, responsibility, honesty. It is possible. I can walk it and so can you. So, it is quite uh, confusing and alarming to be suffering from schizophrenia with the splitting of mind occurring according to its own programming, according to the own DNA, RNA, um, upbringing, of course, uh, programming. Uh, from from being born and from being from living in the modern society which is you know what it is it is what it is so i'm learning from walking my destiny eye process to stabilize myself to become grounded earthed finding living words that I can use, living word, simple words that I can live. Finding stability as my breath. With yoga, with self-forgiveness, with self-correction, with living that change, with being that cogwheel to honor life and stop being defeated and inferior to my own mind. But finding that sound, reason, passion within me to live and to bring solutions and common sense. Because I am more than just a projection of mind bubbles. I am more than that. That is just illusion. That is just for me to entertain myself. Which we see all over the all over this world. So, yeah, that is some outlining about uh, splitting of mind. How we're pro how this schizophrenic actually is a form of autism. And yeah, I'm I'm one voice. For reasoning with this and for bringing sanity within this and to understand schizophrenia. I welcome you. Thank you.